Hey friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make delicious cornbread for Thanksgiving. This cornbread is my go-to recipe for the holidays. It's so decadent, rich and very fluffy. You guys are going to love this for the holidays. Let's get started. All right, you guys, we're going to start by mixing the dry ingredients. So in my bowl, I have one cup of all-purpose flour. Into that, I am adding one cup of yellow cornmeal, one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, a third of a cup of white sugar, and a quarter cup of brown sugar. I like my cornbread a little sweet, so if you don't like your sweet, just reduce the amount of sugar. Go ahead and mix everything together, then set the mixture aside for later. Next, we're going to mix the wet ingredients. So in this bowl, I have one and a quarter cup of buttermilk. Into that, I am adding two whole eggs and a quarter cup of vegetable oil. Go ahead and mix everything in very well. Then you're going to pour the wet ingredients into your dry ingredients. We're going to mix everything in and try not to overmix, okay guys? Otherwise, your cornbread can come out very tough. As soon as everything is just incorporated, stop mixing. So I'm making the cornbread in a cast iron pan. I have it heated up over medium high heat. I'm going to melt in four tablespoons of butter. I have a 12 inch cast iron pan. You can also make this in a nine or 10 inch pan. If you're making this in a baking dish, use a nine by nine. Go ahead and pour the cornbread butter into your melted butter. Turn your heat off. Then you're going to place the pan into a 400 Fahrenheit preheated oven. We're going to bake the cornbread for 15 to 18 minutes. My cornbread took exactly 15 minutes to bake. Depending on the size of your pan, it might take longer, so make sure you check with a toothpick. If it comes out dry, it means it's completely baked. I like making this in a cast iron pan because you get all the golden brown edges. It's so crispy and delicious. I'm going to cut this into squares and that's it you guys, it's time to serve. It looks so delicious, it's very rich and perfect for the holidays. You can serve this with honey or melted butter. It's so soft and deliciously rich, way better than the box ones they sell at the store. If you guys would like to make this, check the description box. I have all the ingredients and measurements there. <music> 